We have, for example, four Gospels. All of them, none of them mention about that what you mentioned. Because all these problems in the Gospel of John. Firstly, about the beginning. Firstly, the only begotten son. You know, that, you know, that the begotten son is only mentioned in the Gospel of John. Adding to this before Abraham, I am. All of these things has a problem in that Gospel, in that particular Gospel. If God is consistent in his message, yeah, and if the other ones you consider to, you consider to them to be as disciples of Jesus, why they haven't narrated the same thing? So you're saying why aren't there not four identical Gospels, basically? No, I'm saying why all these problems only in the Gospel of John. Why? Only in the Gospel of John. Gospel. Only in the Gospel of John, before Abraham, I am. Only in the Gospel of John, in the beginning, the Word and the Word become God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in the Gospel of John, the begotten Son, begotten yeah, Son, is only in the Gospel of John. Yeah, yeah. Why did you dismiss the old Gospels? Why do you dismiss all of them? Yeah. None of them mention what you said. Well, oh, yeah, there is, there, there is stuff in the Gospel of John that is not uh, taught uh, as clearly in the other Gospels. So yeah, before Abraham I was, that, that's only in the Gospel of John. Yes. Obviously, I didn't write the Gospel, so I don't know the underlying reasons why. I would, I would, I would guess, I would guess. You would guess. Christ, it, John is called the beloved disciple multiple times good. by Christ. Good, good. And I, I would, so you would guess, Christ, you would guess. That Christ had a special relationship with John Here, and look, actually revealed look. to him as a prophet, uh, greater revelations. Uh, we, we have a problem, Jesus. we have a problem. We don't have your mindset to guess, for example. Yeah, we we have, to, you know, that's the problem. We don't have, we yeah. don't have, we don't have you and your mindset to guess. This is I guess or I don't guess. So we are, we're talking about doctoring here, and the doctoring is not based on your. What's your name, by the way? I don't want to say my name. I, I don't yeah, know okay, Mr. X. We yeah, don't have, we don't have Mr. X guess to guess for us. What the right doctoring? We don't have you. We have the word of God, which is the scriptures. No, the, the word of God. I don't need to know do, why do you believe the other gospels of the word of God? Yeah, all, all scriptures breathe that. By so God. The, 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 the other four gospels, why they don't have the same message? But if they are the word of God, if yeah, God yeah. is consistent, if God doesn't make mistakes, why? and God, you know, would let you. Would let oh, you. Oh, first of all, first, know, firstly, we, we you firstly, you just quoted Paul. Firstly, you just quoted Paul about. Wait, which, which okay. Um, look, in terms of references, I don't have everything memorized, but I know you know that you quoted Paul. Okay. Scriptures breathe out by God. Yeah. Right. First Timothy three. Okay, Paul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm not wrong. Okay. Now, when Paul was writing, there was no such thing as a New Testament. The it Gospels. Was being canonized. It was no, the no, no, no. No, the canonization of the yeah. of the New Testament the big, didn't occur for another three centuries. Okay. Yeah. That is. Look, I'm, you're talking about the Council of Nicaea, right? First. Nicaea. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. The Council of Nicaea wasn't to canonize the the scripture, right? So it was, it was to canon, It was to canonize the. Hold on a second. I'm trying to say, first and foremost, there was no such thing because Paul's letters predate Mark even, okay? The, the, that, that may be, that the, the may be writing, true. okay? Yeah, yeah. So there was no such thing as a New Testament, okay? Hold on. So when Paul was talking about scriptures being breathed, he was referring to the Hebrew scriptures, not the New Testament. So if you want to, if you want to quote that, then you have to disregard the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. Second, but, Peter, Peter but, with all Gospels, all Gospels. Ultimately, Peter, Peter listen, listen, to me, listen to me. I'm going to call you Ahmed because of the beard, to be honest. I'm not going to call you Mr. X. No, no, it's Ahmed. Ahmed is a name for the book. You're right, you're right. So the New Testament was still being written, but even during that process, Listen. The apostles referred to each other's writings as being scripture, proving that the Listen. New Testament was Listen. being canonized. At you, that first time. of all, you don't have any evidence of that. Yeah, that's all, I think that's first Peter. It's either first okay, or first, okay. Look, we can go into that discussion. Yeah. You came here today, okay? Yeah. yeah. You, and you've made, made it very clear that your intention here is to speak about the Bible. Yeah. But you came here to talk about my Quran, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. About yeah. the Quran and what the Quran says, okay? So if you are to speak about the Quran, then deal with the Quranic verses that you are coming to, uh, mm. to allege against. So, when you say to, uh, to us about the Trinity in the Quran, we have made it very clear to you that the Quran is teaching you, do not say three, mm. okay? Three say what? Three what? Do, no. Apples, oranges, no, no. trees, with regards, with, with regards to God. God. Three beings or three persons? No, just Anything. don't say three. Don't say three, three, three one. Don't say that, three persons. Don't say two beings, one person. Wait, don't that, say one person, you don't three the beings. The no. You don't, it's always the doctrine Okay, the no, no, no. Listen. You need to listen, all right? Mm. Lend me your ear and listen, okay? When we say do not say three, as I mentioned to you before, any depiction or any understanding of the Trinity, because even today as we stand here, if I went to speak to each and every... Actually, how many attributes does God have? Does God have more second, than yeah. three attributes? No, he's not listening, by the way. He, is, he has a tongue yeah. and he's at the same time. When you yeah. talk, yeah. he's thinking how know, to attack. I, I so that's why he doesn't, he's not focused. Yeah. Actually, literally, yeah. he literally is not focused. Just focus what he says. Yeah. Just focus and then deal with the yeah. things that he says. If I went to ask every, uh, you know, a couple of Christians here, we would have a slight, slightly different understanding of the Trinity. 
a slightly different understanding yeah. in whatever capacity right it's true right you and i agree on that hence why the quran doesn't try to get into the uh details of what the trinity is it says it simply says don't say three that means whatever you or any other christian says in this part says regarding the trinity yeah. don't say that say there is only one god and he has no partners with him in the same way that, Isai, uh, that Jesus, peace be upon him, says on the day of judgment, I did not tell them, you know, to worship myself or Mary. Okay. Well, of course, he says this in, in, by saying I, I had no right to say uh, which that which I don't yeah. have any authority. Because we don't want to divide God into three. Or... You, there's no division. There's no extra this. There's no extra that. The Quran mentions that Allah did not have a, uh, does not have a partner. Allah so does not say that he, don't he's say above three. having a son. Uh, the Quran mentions. Uh, for example, that Allah is beyond having a son, but you refer to Christ as being the Son, yeah, of, God. The son of God. Okay, so, so this is the, this is the message of okay, the Quran. So if I understand you correctly, what you're saying is it's not three persons or three beings. We just don't say three. Period. period. Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you say 99 attributes of Allah? Names, do we say 99 names? 99 names. 99 okay. names. Is that dividing Allah? Is no, it's not dividing. No, it so this is this is this is a flaw three, because you're, you're not you're not dividing so attributes. Nine. First and foremost, you're not dividing uh, dividing attributes. Okay, okay. us. You know, like a human person yes. has several attributes, but they're still one person. Yes. Okay. You are. You've got a completely different concept. Okay. So you, to equate ninety-nine attributes to the three persons of God is is. Uh, and I don't is, give. I'll give you an example. Is, is actually you. Is actually you showing me yeah. that you don't have an understanding of your Trinity. If you make such a comparison. Yeah. Right. That's what. That's what you're actually demonstrating yeah. right now. What can, I, can I say? So adding to this. So for example. Holy now, when we say about the names of God, we say Ar Rahman, which is the God. Ar-Rahim, the merciful, the compassionate, the merciful. That these are attributes. These are names and attributes of God. Now, now, when you describe God a son, is the son equal to the father? In what? In everything. Every every one. In like everything. In, in, in every capacity. In, in, every, in capacity. every capacity. In every capacity. In everything. Is it's the uh, son equal to the father? The, the person of the son is equal to the father in power, glory, majesty, eternity. Good, good. So, so, so. Okay, good. So the the son is equal to the father. Well, in, in the, the way I just described, yes. Okay, good. So, is the Father all-knowing? Uh, is the, yes, 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 yes. Is the Son all-knowing? Yes, the Son is So, that when he said, I, I, well, no one knows about the Word except the Father, neither the Son, mm -hmm. nor the angel, the only one knows about the Awa is the Father. What does he mean by this? He means that in his human nature... He, he didn't say that. He didn't say in the Bible. Open the Bible, say to me that he said, in my human... He could say, it's easy for them, you know, instead of misguiding me and you and everyone, it's simple to say, you actually in my, it heresy, in, my no, in my human yeah, nature. By the way, by the way, by the way, no, no. I will tell you something. By the way, I will tell you something. When you are adding, when you are adding wording to the wording of Jesus, this heresy. By the way, to say in my in my human nature, I cannot know. Then he will have. To, it's easy for him to say this. By the way, so he didn't say. That's what Paul teaches. He didn't say this. This is God and the these are things you imposed on him. It's not his wording. The New Testament imposed on him. That's what you imposed on him. He. None of there is nothing his wording to say. In my human nature, I don't know about that. He didn't say this. Before asking me the question, before asking me the question. So here, when he said the son, when he said the son, me and he said strictly saying the only one knows about that is the father. Strictly here, we know we know what it means of the word. When you say the only one, for example, to say the only one, for example, the only one, uh, for example, in this park, for example, yeah, name is what's your name, brother? Muhammad. Muhammad what? Abdul Razak. Abdul Muhammad Abdul the only one in the park is Muhammad Abdul Razak. It doesn't, it means that literally he is the only one. So when, we are, when, when God is saying, and as we take his God words for granted, when God saying, according to you, the only one knows about the hour is the father, means strictly the father, no one else, not the son. He didn't say about my human nature. He didn't talk about his divine nature. He didn't say about that. So going back to the point. No, yeah, I'm giving a lecture, yeah. I because we're having a conversation. Yeah, but you, what you have you? have a lecture without me. What, what have you? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't so, have to so, so the point is, when you are just say, going back to the point, is the son equal to the father in all aspects? Yeah, in his divine nature, that, yes. yes. It, where is but that? not in his human nature. Where is that? So he doesn't so know about that he, one? Can I ask you a question? So you, you accuse me of uh, preaching heresy. What do you call it? Deal, 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 deal with the question. Respond to his question. Deal with that question. Which one was the question? When Jesus said, 
the only one knows about the is the father, neither the son, neither the son. Yeah, it's simple. I mean, if you go back even to, if you go to Aramaic and to the original word, it's going to be even worse, actually, not just English. Because English, because English, because English, Aramaic and Arabic, they are, they are very similar. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the, uh, even if uh, they did, did just speak Greek, that's another irony. Oh, anyway, <laughs> going back to the point. So anyway, if, in his language, the language of Jesus, if either he spoke Hebrew or he spoke Aramaic. Yeah. So in Hebrew or in or in Arabic or Aramaic, all these Semitic uh, you know languages, basically when you say only, it means only and only. There is only an absolute. It doesn't mean there is probability there will be someone else. So here, when you are, when Jesus said the only one knows about the hour, either he literally doesn't know about the hour other son, or he lied to, to you and to me to misguide us to say you know i'm just saying this to to deal with the with the israelites who came to me they criticized me they asked me certain questions just to just to abstain from their torturing so i said the only one knows about the hour is the father or your interpretation which has nothing has no basis in the bible which is heresy now deal with it I already, I already I answered a few what I said earlier. So Christ, uh, in his divine nature, does know all things, but in his human nature did grow in wisdom and stature and knowledge of God. Um, yeah, that's uh, what we've always believed. The two no, it's not. Christ, no, no, okay, so, so, so they're not equal. Going to yeah. equality, going, right? That's the yeah. main thing. So but for us, Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, yeah. Both of them, are they, the they know about it. They're the same. Wait, so, so God's justice and His mercy. Are the same. Yeah, yeah, they're the same. So that's why Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Ar Rahim. Those are names for God. No, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. No, he mentioned, uh, he mentioned Ar Rahman no. and Ar Rahim. You didn't get it. Okay? Those are uh, so. Those are certain attributes of Him. Mm. Now the point is, we're talking. If we're talking about that, the, when we're talking about God, is has the same attributes uh, everywhere. So. Jesus doesn't have the attribute of the Father. So Jesus is not co-equal to the Father. Why did you bring this heresy to say they are co-equal? We're, we're getting diverted. I actually question. You said I can't say three, but you can say 99. Why is that? That, that doesn't have okay. to and I said, And I said to you... Sorry. No, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, no, it's okay. <laughs> so what I said to you is this. The fact that you're making such a comparison mm. between the three persons and the 99 attributes of Allah mm displays to me that you don't know your own trinity because you're making such a comparison. What don't I know? Okay. Just tell me. Okay. Elaborate. Right. So, the, like, as I mentioned, you know, the sheikh here, he has multiple attributes. Yeah, mashallah. But he's yeah. divisible. He's divisible. No, he's not divisible. <laughs> okay, yeah, How is he divisible? Yeah, the left hand, the right hand, the head, look, the foot. Look, we're talking you're, about... You're of multiple is, well, look. Listen, at the end of the day, any analogy that we're going to give is not going to be akin to, to God, is it? So. What I'm trying, I'm trying to get you to understand the concept. Okay, when I say to, when I say to you, the Sheikh has multiple uh, attributes. You know, Mashallah, he's generous, multiple he's parts. kind, and everything. Attributes. Parts. Okay, I'm referring to attributes. Okay, in 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 terms of his essence. Okay. Okay. So that is different to now saying that a Sheikh is what do you call it? Is his son. It's his son. But Sheikh this, is his own this, son. But this yeah? is the problem. So, because no. as a created being, um, no, no, no. Okay. You see, now here he yeah. comes to the creative yeah. being. So, look, earlier exactly. he can do the creative being. Ultimately, now you're gonna being. look. We, we at the end of the day, attributes. Uh, uh, the attributes of Allah, right? This yeah, is yeah. this is your misunderstanding now of basic uh, Islamic doctrine. Okay, but inshallah, you'll learn today. Okay, and this is not to smear you or anything. Everyone learns. The 99 attributes of Allah, they are not divisible. Okay. Mm. They are all a part of him, okay? A and what? So look, when we say okay, a part of him, so we are using look, look, we are using human language, okay? Now, if I if yeah. if I wanted to try and catch they're you out all, on your doctrine, they are all of his yeah. essence. If, yeah. yeah. If you if I wanted to catch you out on your doctrine because of human language, I'll have a field day with you. All right. Understand that we, we can have go on a field trip together. No, we, we you have to understand that we have human la language that we can express things to so a certain you use degree. The language of part. Listen. You, you, Okay, I, I, Listen, I, I the 99 to attributes, right? all right, are the essence of Allah, all right? Okay, okay. so each part, so okay. No, okay. they're not parts. <laughs> they're not parts. You, they're not parts. You, you use that word. You use that word. Okay, that, okay. okay. That's, that's, yeah. you, can, you can backtrack, I, you know, that's fine. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Backtrack, yeah, 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 yeah,
It was this nonsense. That, so those are nonsense. Height. So the same thing, your height or your or your leg is something is something else. So that's what my point is. You're talking about the attributes. We're not talking about persons. You came here. You said three persons. Am I right? Persons is not attributes. But you. Okay. So you understand what I said? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Person is attributes. Persons is not attributes. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Was that the Quran says? He didn't say I understand. Do you understand? Period. No yeah. three persons, three no, beings. No, no, no. He said no three, three persons. Three. Yes. And I'm saying that this is inconsistent with your theology because you do no, say it's not inconsistent. Nine. Because the uh, the Old Testament. Attributes. Hold on a second. The Old Testament in of itself gives God seventy-two attributes. Yeah, I, I believe that God has multiple attributes. Right. So but, why are you arguing with us? But here's the distinction, right? So why are you arguing with us? They only appear about distinct this. to yeah. us. In God, they are the same. Okay, good. No. So is no. God is God does no, no, God no. love? The thing is, you're, one you're, second. You're, one second. Is God love? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is love is attribute love? Yeah. Yeah. So is love equal to his face? Well, I don't believe that God has a, a literal face. The, the, he doesn't in, have a literal. In, in the same According to you, is. Jesus has a face. Yes? I think it's an analogous. No, language. Jesus has a face. Yeah, yes? As a human being. As a human so being. Does, yes, the, the, is that face of God? Well, I. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, he's okay. a human being, but so is that face of prior, God? Is that face of God? I don't believe that God is, is as a spirit. As a well, wait a second, is God, Jesus God face? Is, is the is Jesus face face of God? Uh, Jesus is the Son of God. And is Jesus face face body. of God? Well, I mean, yes, in a different sense. So it's a face of that. God. I mean, Jesus has hands. He has feet. So, he so that face of Jesus, the face of God. I mean, in his divine nature. You can what, say. what divine nature? So that Jesus face, the human being who was walking here, that face is the face of God. Are you saying Jesus this? Jesus is a human Are you generally being. saying human this? Human beings have faces and Jesus is the Son of God. No, so. <laughs> that's, the, that's not my answer. Don't go around, don't go around my, my question. Is, my question is so simple. Is Jesus face the face of God? Let me, let me make it simple. Uh, what was, what was let him answer you and I'll make it simple for you. Yeah. The express image of God. Yeah. In Hebrews chapter 1, you see, he's the express image of God. But uh, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I and the Father are one. Yeah. So that's the face of God. Before Abraham, uh, I, I am. Mean, no. Sure. So look, you know, to make this simple <laughs> okay. for you. He just missed what he said that way. Allah is a Rahman. Allah is okay. a Razak. Allah is. Okay, so these are the attributes. It all is Him. Okay, because hence where we say they are His names and attributes. Okay, Al Isma wal Sifat. Okay, they are the names of Allah as well. Allah has 99 names that we know of. Okay, so that we know of. Would you say that so, God can be identified with His attributes? Like he yes, is, he, he is identified by His attributes okay. as well. So, so when we say Ya Razak, so when we say Ya Razak, yeah. We are calling so, to Allah. Let me ask you a question then, because you, Muslims will accuse us of um, being ha. illogical, because we will say that the, 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 the Father is God, the Son is God, Persons. the Spirit is God, but they are distinct from each other, right? The Father is not the Son. And you, but they're not equal. The 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 Them being distinct, we agree. They are yeah. distinct from so each other because they're not all God. God is the most just. He is the most merciful. He is the most high. No, he's the all just. Not the most just. They all just. Are distinct from each other. Isn't that logical structure exactly the same? Look, as but we are look mm -hmm. again. You, you need to understand. No, no, no. No, no. Again, a person is different to an attribute. A person has attributes. A mm. person has attributes. We are saying Allah is identified by his names and attributes. Okay. Yes. To put it simply, yeah. I was trying to, while you were speaking to the Sheikh, I was trying to find a way to put it simply to you so that you can understand. Allah is identified by His names and attributes, okay? So wh whichever of the 99 names, or all of the attributes, right, they, they're one and the same. Whichever of the 99 attributes we call upon Allah, we are still calling upon one. Allah Himself. One being. The creator of the, yeah, the one being. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But you don't do that. Hence why I said, when you are making such a, a comparison, you are telling me that you don't understand the Trinity yourself. And you don't, by extension, you don't know our creed. So if, when you come to the Muslims, okay? Well, I'm saying you, you, you were being. Uh, listen to me. Add, add, add in to this, by the okay, way. Look, uh, yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, okay, is that you believe that we are being inconsistent is due to your, the lack of knowledge of both our doctrines, your own and ours. So my advice to you, okay, my advice to I, you. I, I understand the doctrine. I, I may not understand Islamic theology. I understand you the do not know, like I said okay. to you, the fact that you're making a comparison between persons and attributes of Allah 
the persons of the of the that's Trinity a, and the attributes of Allah is displaying a lack of knowledge your, of the Trinity. Your claim earlier is do not say three without qualification. So three beings, three persons, three. Eggs, With regards three to your doctrine. No, 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 no. No, no, no. With regards to your doctrine of the Trinity. With regards to your. No, one second. That's not his word. Yeah. I was there. Here. I was here. You, you could lie on him when you, when you yeah, go alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could. He said, Allah said to us, don't say three about God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but look at what is attributed to Jesus and what is attributed to Moses and read those passages when Jesus says to the uh, the Samaritan woman in John 4 for example you wanted to go to the book of John in John 4 yeah he says to he says to the uh, Samaritan woman you do not know who you worship but we know who we worship for salvation is from the Jews and the mm. Jews didn't believe in the Trinity okay well, the Jews today Jews today no no even then the first even century Jews, then. first century followers of Christ did they believe in the first Jews? century did the, apostle, did the apostle Paul was not he not Jewish apocalyptic they Jews. all believed Listen, in Yahweh apocalyptic first and foremost Jews. that's who they believed the children they of Israel did not believe in a trinity. Did the Apostle Paul believe in the I'm talking about, look, listen, no, listen. We, are a we, are we are concluding you know, here, we're not arguing. Okay. 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 Have you you're giving me your conclusion. Yeah. 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 realize the Messiah's actual name, Yahshua, it means Yahweh is salvation. I don't think you're going to get any breaks anytime soon. This is the nature of the corner. This is the nature of the corner. But that's my advice to you. Look at that, read the Quran sincerely, okay? You've already opened it up. Read the Quran sincerely and look at the message of the Quran. Don't try to look for these verses as mm. gotcha yeah. moments for the I things that happen. And be sincere this in yourself. This is okay? really a debate question. I'm kind of actually genuinely right. interested because some Muslims would disagree about this. So do you actually believe that the New Testament denies the doctrine of the Trinity or do you think it's been corrupted and then the Trinity has been read into the New Testament? Okay, so like okay. to, clari to clarify, to clarify, okay. Kind of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is not about my opinion. This is about what's been revealed by God. The Quran mentions, right, that part of the scripture was forgotten and part of the scripture was where does it say that okay so chapter 5 of the quran Can verse 13 oh, verse 13 of verses 13 and 14 this is specifically to the christians and it even uh, gives you the answer for why that was done and in chapter 2 verse uh, 8 and 90 uh, you guys all know Yuhud, the name Jesus is false. Which one? Uh, right? You guys all know that the name Jesus which is one, a total lie. Um, right? Yeah, you have to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
So this is what we believe regarding what has happened to the scriptures that you hold in your hands. We do not say that you have that everything is corrupt. Right? But we say that the Jews and the Christians have forgotten or corrupted the scripture either in word or either in writing or meaning. Yeah. And, and, and you have some of you have some of the revelations still present. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is and this is not like this is like kind of a genuine like interested to see. What I want you to be genuine. Way. All the time in front of the cameras yeah, and without the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Everything I said, I believe, um, but this is more like a personal question. Okay. To my understanding, is that actually the earliest generations of Muslims did not believe that the text I yeah. 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 had been corrupted, but rather that the meaning and interpretation had been corrupted at no, the time of Muhammad. No, this that is Muhammad was restoring. This is not true. This is not. That's not true. This is not true because we have multiple ahadi where the uh, where the yeah. companions of the Prophet testified to this. At certain point, at certain point in the beginning when the Prophet was there, at certain Point, yeah. Listen, listen. At certain point, when the Prophet ﷺ was saying that there used to be something which is kind of still certain things which is true, still there. Uh, uh, that's why God has told him, bring the bring the bring the Torah if you are able and recite it before us. So these things was there. But as well, there are certain things being corrupted over the period of time. Now, certain portion, as I mentioned to you, which is some of the doctrine, which is about the concept of the one God, believing in one God, etc. That's something which was there. The issue is that the, the concept of the Trinity, which was introduced actually and actually imposed on a Christian or after the Council of Nasia, uh, because in the beginning, uh, during for the for the first 300 years, some of the Christians were binarian. Actually, they used to believe in God, the Father and the Son. They didn't believe they didn't believe in the Trinitarian. Some of them they were actually Unitarian. They believe in one God. Yeah. So and and then some of them they were Trinitarian. And then later on during the Council of Nicaea, they had to vote for it. And actually, Constantine had to impose. And anyone who doesn't accept the Trinity, they were chased and they were. Done. This is not true. This is. Not true. Anyway, that, you read the history. That's the history. That's the history. That's the history. We know the history as well. Can I ask you a question? Um, I've been interested to see as a Muslim, how you answer this question. So, like, when do you believe? Do you believe Jesus was a Muslim? He brought the message of Islam, submit to God, etc. Yes, submit to God. Means of Islam, submitting to God. Yeah. And obviously, by the Council of Nicaea, things have gone very, very different. We have the doctrine of the Trinity. We have the soon up, soon up. divinity of Christ. So, it's so not, it's when, not when, did it, when did it go wrong? Like, when did the message of Christianity get corrupted? Like, so, 50 AD, 60 AD. Soon, soon after. Um, so how soon? Soon after Jesus was ascended to. Uh, okay, so, to, like maybe 40 AD. By the time no, it, it, a definitive timeline I can never give. Okay, but to say it happened 300 years later, no. Okay, because we already see with the evidence uh, that we have today regarding the history of, of Christianity that there was deviation, that there was uh, my, you know minority Christian sects that started to spread. Okay, and this is sorry. Let me just let me just. I believe so, but just for the clear. And brothers, it's not, this just, about, happen, it's not just about Jesus. Not just, but even it's Muhammad all, peace be upon him. Even after he died, yeah. things happen after him yeah, after him away. so some people they, they they took him as god some of them they just took him they neglected his man so soon soon after he dies yeah. things happen yeah. so these things is normal to happen after after every prophet or after every messenger and it happens to christianity the only thing that happens to islam that god has one of the things that god you know inspired and actually helped those the companions of the prophet peace be upon him actually to stick to the true faith yeah and that's why the faith is preserved for that, for that time is due to few things. Firstly, the, after the protection of God, which God has promised in the Quran that to protect the revelation. Secondly, of course, the efforts of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Otherwise, we're going to have a totally distort. We're going to be more worse than Christian, by the way. If, if the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, they didn't stand what they have said. And as well, the famous scholars of Islam who stood against any corruption and any imposing to the doctrine, they stood like Imam Ahmad and others, they stood against these to, to distort and to change the true faith in Islam. So these things happen. So that's, they, these are the things which, which are unique in Islam. So basically, so it went by 100 AD, it certainly it's been corrupted. If the Apostle Paul is writing in 50, 60 AD... Was, he was writing was, earlier than that. Yeah. So like by, by, I mean, and the Apostle Paul definitely did believe in the divinity of Christ? No. You don't believe that? No. No. Okay. no. Okay. I, mean, I mean, even if you look at 1 Corinthians 8, 6, where, which, is one of, which is one of the key texts that's used in the um, Apostles' Creed, right? Um, it, it mentions that there is only one God, the Father, and only one Lord, Jesus Christ. So he makes a clear distinction. If anything, even if you look at Arrhenius and what he what he mentions in terms of against, when he writes against heresies, he actually makes a Paul a heretic. 
because uh, Paul was essentially a subordination. He didn't believe in the equality of uh, equality of God already, <laughs> of Jesus too. Uh, of Jesus too. So the, you know we can we can talk about Paul and everything, but that's a discussion for another time. Like I said, I give, I give you some, yeah, I give you some advice. Inshallah, read the Quran. Yeah. It just seems to me like you guys make Paul to be a, a, a greater prophet than Christ himself. If Christ no. came, no, no. zero. No, AD, actually, we believe we believe. The message of Islam, no, no, no. and then by the time we get to like 60, 70 AD, it's been. Completely actually, we believe he he is the one who corrupt the message. Actually, yeah. does not does not. Actually, he is the one. He is the one actually who corrupt the message. He is the one who actually. He's one of the key figures. He is the one. He's the one of the key figures. So he was more influential than Christ. Uh, no, 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 no. Listen. That's the thing here. It doesn't matter. The devil was influenced more than certain things. It doesn't matter how it goes. It matters what is the original teaching. Jesus never taught that to be worshipped alone. Never taught the people to direct the worship to him. And he was actually directing the people to worship God. So the, this is the thing here. And that is the key. So that's the key thing. So when someone is directing the worship to someone else other than God, the one true God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. That's why, when I, that's why you are a skeptic to say, are they co-equal? Because I will say to you, basically the God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Definitely Jesus is not the creator of the heavens and the earth. You see? It's like a theological question.